When working in one of the natural resource professions, how do you create the career that you want? Well, that's the question that the eight people we meet in Intelligent Courage answered in their careers. Let's look at how they did it. Hello, everybody. This is Mike Fradenberg, author of Intelligent Courage. In my over 50 years in fish and wildlife management, I thought about that question a lot. When I retired from my first employment in Washington State, I decided to do something about it and seek out some interesting and successful role models and ask them, how did they do it? The people we meet in the book accomplished many great things in their careers. They supervised the nation's largest land management agency. They saved endangered fish species from extinction. They took on the Sagebrush Rebellion. They've helped states write climate action plans. They've worked in federal, state, and county governments, and they held jobs as scientists, managers, and activists. And in so doing, these people changed land use planning in their community, changed the Forest Service culture from timber production to environmental stewardship, transformed the bickering of university and government professionals into the cooperation needed to preserve desert fish communities. They broadened the values that should be considered in managing minerals on national forests. They identified human decision-making behaviors as a key problem that gets in the way of sustainability and many other accomplishments. Well, how did they do it? A consistent theme emerged in the book. They all found ways to demonstrate leadership that led to positive change in their community. For example, let's meet Roger Conter, a National Park Service employee with many career accomplishments, including setting up the first national park with a wilderness mission managing the first Let It Burn Fire in the history of the National Park Service, and leading the Second World Congress on National Parks that established the World Heritage System on Parks. In his own words, here's how Roger describes the leadership challenge. Careers are a long-term process. When disappointment comes your way, consider how to achieve your dream in some other way or later in your career. I've always remembered Brock Adams' advice that conservation activism is constant pressure, endlessly applied. My way of doing things is not to worry too much about the bad things that may happen. Spend your time working on progressive things that will work now and in the future, and consider risk as an additional thing to manage. Above all, make a clear-cut decision to either do something or do nothing. Don't let decisions creep up on you by default. Being clear about when you are willing to show courage on an issue is half the battle you'll have with yourself. Then design some way to manage your courageous act. Don't just let it happen without forethought. Successful courage is intelligent courage. Taken together, the people we meet in the book show how one person can make a difference. My hope is that intelligent courage helps current and future professionals design the career they want. A career of satisfaction, and conservation achievement.